you got to stretch kids. You know, when I was 15, I was afraid to go to my aunt's ranch. I had a choice. I could go all summer, or I could go for a week. Ended up going all summer. If I had a lot of ranch, I would not have gotten involved in the cattle industry. So that brings up another thing. you got to show kids interesting stuff to get them interested in interesting stuff. You're not doing nothing. you got to get them out. Get them out doing the things. But I want to emphasize, no surprises. Surprises cause panic. You've got to stretch them, but it cannot be a surprise. Okay, get going with my presentation. Uh, the thing about things like <coughs> autism, bipolar disorder, things like this, they are a continuous trick. One is a little bit geeky become autism. Recently, I was at the JPL, and then people that put the Mars lander on Mars, I was out at the Googleplex, and I'm out there in Silicon Valley, you got lots of people on the spectrum. <laughs> 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 you know, and I'm done. You know, I'm, you know, and it's and it grown up versions of some of the kids that I saw tonight. And when does geeks and nerds become my autism? And there's no black and white dividing one. I can think of kids I went to college that definitely are on the spectrum. But what worries me, because I like jumping from silo to silo. I was at an organic farm meeting. Recently, I was at a cowboy poetry gathering. Now, I saw experts there. I saw them at the organic conference. You know, and one kind of geeky little kid sometimes gets handicapped mentality and ends up playing video games all day. But they didn't push them up. And another little geeky kid that ends up in Silicon Valley, because when he was eight, he was apprenticed into computer programming. The thing is, they're the same geeky kid. This is what really drives me crazy. Because I know tonight I've already seen a lot of kids that are on the high end of the spectrum. And I'm seeing too many kids kind of overprotected. They come up to me, and the parents all talking. They gotta learn how to do the talking. You know how I learned that? A part of it was old-fashioned 50s teaching manners. <laughs> but when my mother had a, had, a, had a party, everyone in the family, all the kids had to be party hosts and party hostess.